Hey everybody, welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide to Hyperscape, the brand new free to play battle royale game from Ubisoft. We've had exclusive early access to the game and have been finding out everything we can about it so that we can share it with you. If you want to watch some live gameplay and have a chance to get a Twitch drop to give you early access to play in the Hyperscape technical test, then jump on over to our stream on twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. This video is going to cover everything you need to know to get yourself ahead in Hyperscape. So let's jump straight in. Part 1. The Basics The technical test sessions for Hyperscape are PC only, but on full release it is going to be available on PC, PlayStation and Xbox and is going to be free to play. Cross-platform play is not currently supported, but it is in the works. Hyperscape is a futuristic urban battle royale with a dense vertical map in which you form up in teams of three in a lobby of 99 players to fight your way to the end. A solo mode is also planned to be available on full release. Currently players have access to nine different guns to defeat their opponents as well as nine different hacks which offer special abilities your characters can use. You select a character at the start of the game but all characters have the same abilities and are purely for cosmetic purposes. You can upgrade your abilities once in game. When you begin a match you drop in via a drop pod from one of the four corners of the map and you can reach any point on the map from your drop location. You start the round with only a melee weapon and you'll have to find guns and hacks on the ground to get yourself going. These can be found on their own and also in crates. There are no gun attachments, instead you upgrade your equipment by fusing it with more of the same type. We'll cover that in more detail in the next section of the video. Players heal damage over time after going a short period without losing any hit points. And keep in mind there is also no full damage and no team damage in this game. There is also no armor system in this game. Each player has 120 hit points and you take extra damage from headshots, with all the rest of the damage taken being the same whether it's a body shot or a limb shot. You can, however, get temporary armor through using one of the game's hacks, which we will cover later in the video. As the round progresses, the map will gradually decay in different patterns by zone. So rather than the usual circle of death closing in that you are used to in a BR game, you will see different districts of the map gradually shut down from which the players will need to extract themselves or they will take damage and eventually die. Upon being killed, rather than becoming knocked unconscious, you'll become a ghost and can move around the map invisibly and unable to interact with anything, but you will still be able to ping enemies for your remaining teammates. These ghosts can then be revived by standing on a restore point and then one of your remaining living teammates visiting it and bringing you back. These restore points are marked on the map and they are created when an enemy player is killed and they are one use only. You can win the game by being the last team or player left alive or by holding on to the crown in the end game for a set period of time. The crown spawns in right at the end of a game and once picked up the player who has it is marked for everyone to see. If they hold the crown for long enough without being killed they will win the game. As well as all that, Hyperscape also offers some unique Twitch integrations that allow viewers to affect what is happening in game. With the use of a Twitch extension that streamers can enable, viewers can periodically vote on special events that will happen in game. There are also plans later on to bring in a Games Master mode where a player can host a custom lobby and act as Games Master, changing aspects of the game in real time whilst players try their best to win. Part 2 guns and fusing your weapons. At the moment there are nine different guns available in Hyperscape and you can carry any two at one time. Each of these can be upgraded four times by fusing it with another weapon. What this basically involves is finding more spawns of the same gun type you currently have and when you fuse the gun you are holding with another of the same type it will be upgraded one level. These upgrades vary from gun to gun, but generally they consist of mag size and damage upgrades. So let's quickly run through each of the nine available guns and what their upgrades offer. 
First up, we have the only shotgun available in the game, the Mammoth Mark I Pump Action. The first three upgrades on this gun will increase its mag size, while the final upgrade will also give it a damage boost. Once fully upgraded, this shotgun gives you nine shots in the mag and can reliably two-shot people at super close range and three-tap them if a little further out. Next, we have the first of two available pistols, the Riot One Heavy Pistol. This single shot weapon gets a damage upgrade with every fusion level and is able to kill an enemy with three headshots or four body shots once fully upgraded. The second pistol is the D-Tap, a fully automatic pistol with an automatic targeting system. This gun lets you pretend you're in the fifth element by pointing your gun around wildly whilst your shots all still magically connect with your intended target. It has very low damage and a quick rate of fire and gets mag size upgrades for its first three levels of fusion. The final fuse on this weapon will also give it a damage buff as well and leaves it able to just about take someone down with one full mag. Moving on from the close combat weapons, we hit the explosive stuff. The Skybreaker is a massive single shot energy cannon that has a large area of effect with high damage and a slow rate of fire. It gets a damage upgrade at each level and seems to do slightly more damage when fired at targets further away. Next up in our explosive category is the Salvo EPL which is basically a quick firing grenade launcher. It has fairly low damage and a small AOE. This weapon gets mag size upgrades for each level of fusion as well as a damage upgrade for the final one. The last of the AOE guns is the Komodo Plasma Blast Launcher. This energy weapon has a slow rate of fire, a small knockback effect, low damage and a small AOE. As with the Salvo, it gets mag upgrades for the first three fusion levels and then a damage buff for the fourth. Now onto the good stuff, the Protocol 5 Single Shot Sniper. This is currently the only sniper in the game and is the most powerful single shot gun available. It gets a damage upgrade at every level of fusion, but even without any upgrades, it can drop an enemy in two headshots. Once you have it upgraded twice, it can kill an enemy with two body shots, and once fully upgraded, it can one-shot kill full health enemies with a single headshot. There are two powerful automatic weapons in Hyperscape, the first being the Hexfire Automatic Gatling Gun. This gun has fairly low damage, but a massive mag capacity which can be upgraded by fusing it. Its accuracy, even over distance, is surprisingly good and it's not hard to control either, much like many of the other guns in this game. It gets 150 rounds in a mag as standard, which then gets upgraded by each level of fusion, with the final upgrade also giving it a small damage buff. Once fully upgraded, it carries a whopping 270 rounds in a single mag, which is easily enough to take out a full squad and theoretically could take out up to six enemy players without reloading. The final gun left to cover is the Ripper. This fully automatic assault rifle is a solid choice for any player, getting mag size upgrades for the first three levels of fusing, plus a damage buff as well for the final upgrade. It has a fairly decent rate of fire and accuracy, giving it a pretty respectable time to kill. Part three, hacks. Now that we've covered the guns, let's take a look at the other big area of the game, the hacks. Much like the guns, a player can carry two hacks at a time, and these can both be upgraded up to four times by fusing them with another of the same hack. These hacks all offer various tactical abilities that you can use to your advantage to defeat enemy players. All hacks have a cooldown period before they can be used again, rather than having ammo that you have to stock up on. So let's run through what each one does and see how it can be upgraded. Number one, the wall hack. This might not be the wall hack you're used to hearing about in video games. This hack instead creates a large protective wall to block your enemy's movement or lines of sight. It can be destroyed by enemy or friendly gunfire and up to five of these walls can be placed at any one time. The basic wall hack has a cooldown timer of 10 seconds which can be brought down to five seconds once fully fused. Number two, the mine. This deploys a homing mine that locks onto enemy players and explodes. 
These mines can be placed anywhere, even floating in the air, but only one can be placed at a time. They can be shot by enemy players, but they are much tougher to kill once they have locked on and are tracking someone. Before being fused, the mine has a 10 second cooldown, which improves to 5 seconds when fused to its max level. The final fusing level also gives it a damage buff from 50 to 75 hit points. Number 3 invisibility. This hack does what it says on the tin. It makes you invisible for a short period of time and this effect is cancelled if you try firing a weapon. It's great for helping you escape a situation or to flank your enemies and it has a basic cooldown of 12 seconds which can be improved to 7 seconds by fusing it to its highest level. Number 4 Reveal. This hack will reveal nearby enemy players to you and mark them on your screen. It has a default cooldown of 12 seconds which improves a very small amount to 9 seconds once fully upgraded. Number 5. Heal. One of the more powerful hacks available, Heal will create a beacon which has an aura around it that heals you and your teammates. Its basic cooldown is 10 seconds which becomes 5 seconds once fully fused and it also gets a buff to its healing power for the final upgrade level. Number 6. Armor. Another very powerful hack available is armor. This hack grants you temporary invincibility, though attempting to fire your gun would immediately cancel it. It has a basic cooldown timer of 12 seconds, which can be upgraded by fusing all the way down to just 7 seconds. Number 7. The Ball. This one is pretty crazy. It puts you in a protective sphere, which you can bounce around in until it runs out. You can bounce into enemy players and knock them about a bit, but it doesn't do any damage. It has a basic cooldown of 12 seconds, which improves to 7 seconds once fully fused. Number 8. Teleport. This hack will instantly teleport you forwards a short distance, but it won't put you through any solid terrain. It's got a basic cooldown of 12 seconds, which can come down to 7 seconds when you fuse it to the max level. Number 9. Slam. This is one of my favorites from the early access. It allows you to jump really high in the air and then come down hard and fast to do damage on enemies below. It reminds me of playing Crackdown back in the day and it's super useful for its jumping ability. We found that using your standard ability to double jump combined with slam allowed you to traverse the vertical areas of the map and chase down opponents really effectively without having to rely on finding jump pads to help you get up onto the rooftops. When first picked up it has a cooldown timer of 10 seconds which becomes a mere 5 seconds once fully fused. The final upgrade also gives it a damage buff. So hopefully that covers everything you'll need to know to get yourself started in Hyperscape. But if you can think of any other useful tips that I may have missed, then please leave a comment down below and upvote the other ones that you like the most. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. And don't forget, you can catch us playing it live and get a chance to get a Twitch drop on our channel at twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Ben, we are The Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time.